Jesus, what are you doing? Nothing. You're looking for your Christmas gift. Shut up, Alice. Dad might hear. Did you see my gift? Yeah, yeah, I think it's over there. Sweet! So what did you get? Stupid book. Well, it's better than what I got. Ew, dirty socks. Those are Dad's. Ew! Oh, so what were you wanting? A laptop. I really use one, but Dad just thinks I can play video games all day. Wait, I, f I found it. Justin Bieber. Ew! I'd rather have the socks. Now get out of here before Dad catches us. Louis, we do something about this. What do you mean? I'm really not happy about this whole Bieber thing. I was really hoping for a flamethrower, or at the very least those dirty socks. We have to convince Mom and Dad to get us better gifts. You can't just tell them that. They know we found the gifts. I know. That's why we have to make them think it's their idea. So what are we going to do? Cut out advertisements and circle what we want? What? No. No, that's stupid. No. We plant the idea in their minds by going into their dreams. It's what's called Inception. Why is my idea the stupid one? Your idea is amateur. You see, we go into their dreams and craft their dreams so that in their experience of the dreams, they come to the conclusion that they need to amp up their gift giving! That is not possible. It is! I saw it in a movie once. That makes it even less likely to be possible. Look, I'm gonna get this flamethrower, even if it kills me. He's a flamethrower. There he is. Do you know the plan? Yeah, we are like idiots. Keep that attitude up and your room is the first place getting flamethrown. Where's all this aggression coming from? I've been watching my favorite Christmas movie. What Christmas movie could possibly make you like that? <sighs> Die Hard. Now, are you with me? Uh, I, yeah, I don't want my room getting flamethrowed, so... Great! So, what, are we just supposed to fall asleep and then we'll be in this dream? Yep. Don't you know, think it's a little hard to fall asleep on command? Uh, I've got it covered. How are we supposed to get out of this dream? Simple. I've got Jack to gently shake me awake after one minute, and I've got Blair in charge of waking you with a punch to the face. But how does that make any sense at all? It's just how it works, okay? We don't have a lot of time. We've got to go. I still don't know how I'm supposed to... How am I going to get sympathy from Dad when I look ridiculous? Louis, you have to make do and be convincing to Dad. Otherwise, he'll know someone's invaded his dream and your consciousness will be expelled into dream limbo. Dream limbo? That is straight up stupid. No, it's cool because it's complicated. No, it's stupid because it's convoluted. You're just saying that because you don't get it. Whatever. Can we just get this over with? You're right. We only have five minutes. Five minutes? I thought we were getting woken up in one minute. Time moves slower in the dream world. Five minutes in the dream world is equal to one minute in the real world. All right, all right, I think I can handle that. It totally changes with daylight savings. Leap year, Cinco de Mayo. I don't, I don't care, I don't care. Just, just tell me what I need to do. We need to find dad and get him to see you with a laptop and me with a flamethrower and see how happy we'd be. And that would get him to think that it would be a good idea to get those things? Let's go! Ah! Where did he come from? Never mind about him. Never mind! Luigi just showed up! It's a me! Sometimes my memories of playing Mario games manifest themselves in my dreams. But this is Dad's dream. I know! Isn't it cool? No! Bombing me out. Back in my day, video games consisted of us making bricks in the factory for 17 hours a day. And that's the way we liked it. When you get bummed out, it manifests itself as a crazy old man. Yar! <laughs> and the pirate? I ain't got nowhere else to be. Oh, Dad's here. Get out of here. I can't wait to punch you in the face, Lois. Hey, girls. Hi, Daddy. 
This is stupid. Shut up. Is there something wrong? No, Daddy. In fact, it's the opposite. We are super happy. Yeah, super happy. For you got us these awesome gifts for Christmas. I did? Seems like a waste of money. It's not because you have Christmas spirit and so you want to spend a lot of money on us. Christmas spirit doesn't make me want to spend a lot of money. I'm going to return those to this store and to... Where did I get a flamethrower? Army surplus. Dad, I want to respect your wishes because I love you a lot. Also, I made you hot coffee because I love you so much. Oh, thank you for being so considerate. I thought you said this would work. No, I figured this might happen. I put a sedative in his coffee. So, so now what? We're gonna tie him up and extort him in his dream? Louis, that is really stupid. No. We are going to go into his dream and get him into the Christmas spirit of spending a lot of money. We're going into a dream inside a dream? How is my idea stupider? We don't have time to discuss how stupid you are. We need to go before Jack shakes me awake. And Blair punches me in the face. Right. So we need to get in there and get to work. Then in a minute from now, Luigi will gently wake me with the smell of fresh flowers and the old man will hit you with his cane. What? Louis, you complain about this. I will get Luigi to use his fire flower and set your dream bedroom on fire with literal thrown fire. What would I care about my dream bedroom for? It makes you pee yourself in your sleep. Let's go. Is there an easier way to go to sleep than being attacked? I suppose you can do what I do, and that's count sheep. Wouldn't that still take a while? One, two, three, four. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! It worked. Oh, come on! Fantastic, you're here. Why am I an old lady? Because we need to set up that Christmas is for all ages, and so we need an old person. But why am I an old lady? Because it's hilarious. Why are you put rotting fish in your sock drawer? I can live with that because then I'll have a flamethrower and I'll be able to defend myself. Okay, now this next part is simple. We just need to greet Dad when he comes in and have him listen to the preacher. He'll then be inspired by Christmas spirit and then boom! Flamethrower. And laptop. Why would I want a laptop? For me. Sure. Uh, it seems to me like you're missing the point. I mean, uh, you just want a flamethrower so that you can destroy things. And uh, it doesn't really seem like it's in the Christmas spirit to me. I don't follow. Oh, Dad's here. Welcome to this evening's service, sir. You will find Christmas here. Thank you, ladies. Say something. Enjoy. Say something an old person would say. In, in my day, the internet was nothing more than two people wrapped in telephone wire punching each other. Madame Yusuf. within a dream? How do we get into another one of Dad's dreams? We're not going into Dad's dream. You're going into the preacher's. But isn't he a figment of this dream world? That's what makes it cool! No, 
That's what makes it unnecessarily convoluted. There is a big difference. You just don't get it. Trust me. Go into the preacher's dream and convince him to change the tone of the sermon. Then he'll finish the sermon the way we want, and soon we get to start setting things on fire. But how do I get into his dream? Knock him out with this. You want me to knock out a pastor with a Bible? That seems blasphemous on a few levels. I know. That's why you're doing it, not me. Now go. <laughs> Everything's fine. This is just a normal part of the service. That ugly old lady just hit the pastor in the face with a Bible. It happens a lot more often than you'd assume. Just take a seat. Okay, you'll have five minutes in the next dream level before I get you out. And remember, don't fail, or we'll lose the existence of Mozambique in the real world. How does that work? It just does, okay? Whatever. Can you just wake me up nicely this time? No. Actually, we're gonna have to go more extreme to get you out since you're going into the third dream level. This is literally the worst idea. Yeah. 